back so I hope you guys enjoyed those swatches on my lips and also on my hand and now I'm gonna talk about the liquid lipsticks and also my thoughts about them so giving you guys information about these liquid lipsticks what they are how much they are let me tell you so these liquid lipsticks are by clean color that is the company name they are the madly matte lip gloss but they call it a lip gloss but it does dry down to a matte finish there are 48 colors I believe and I got 13 of them I got quite of a few different ranges of colors so I could really try out different formulas in case some of the brighter or darker colors are different from the lighter colors I wanted to try a bit of everything so I got 13 colors and they all retail for one US which is crazy I bought mine off missa.com everything on that site is actually one dollar so what it pretty much claims to do is that it's a matte finish and it doesn't dry out your lips and it's highly pigmented so let me tell you what I think about them first thing I notice is that the smell is very very strong I can't like pinpoint the smell but it's very like very sweet and very candy like and it's very strong like it's there so if you're sensitive to smell then just keep that in mind because the smell is very strong and the second thing I noticed when I put the look of lipstick on is that it was super super tacky some are more tacky than others some are not really tacky at all when you put it on and you would kind of put your lips together your lips will kind of just stay together because it's so tacky and it's a really weird feeling to have and you know you have something on your lips it feels very heavy but like I said again that's only with some of the shades also it takes ages to dry down to a matte finish like literally it takes forever I don't know if that's a bother to you guys but it does take forever just to dry down to a matte finish so with the lighter colors the more pinky nude mauvey shades I actually do like them only time I think I would wear them is if I'm going out for dinner or like I'm only out for like a couple of hours I think the max I would wear this is like four hours so just for a short period of time and it doesn't last that long like if I eat whatever's on my lips will come off and I have to retouch with this I don't think you can retouch what you'll have to do is actually take all of it off and then reapply it I don't think you can retouch this these like kind of shades I think the nice I don't think they're the best like I mean for one dollar you can't really expect too much but for what they are the price and everything you're getting a lot of product as well I think it is worth to try I really do like these ones I do see myself wearing them like like I said just going out for dinner going out for lunch you know just short period of time where I don't really need a retouch it's not a lip product that I would just chuck in my bag like a go-to it's in there gonna touch up with it you know what I mean cuz some of them aren't as tacky as others I kind of would look past it and I can just kind of pull through and wear it for just a couple of hours because the shade selections are really really nice and I love like the shades I got so um, yeah I would say give it a go like just get maybe one or two it's not gonna break the bank or anything like that it's only gonna cost you like a dollar so I would say try it and see how you like it and then if you like it then you can get more of the shades but I would really 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 say do not get these darker shades because oh they went on so patchy it wasn't pigmented at all so yeah just stick to the nude nudie shades I think those ones are the best ones you can go for this brand is also cruelty free as well which is awesome being a super super affordable brand I think them being cruelty free is just another big thumbs up so to wrap up this review I would rate these liquid lipsticks probably uh, 6.5 I mean the biggest pro is obviously the price because it's just so affordable and you're not really losing money or you're not really losing anything and really because it's so affordable even though the shade there are some shades I don't like I don't feel like I, I, I regret it because it was so affordable um, the cons is that it's it is really tacky and you know it's there like I don't like feeling like I have a lot of makeup on when it's really heavy but most of the shades that I have do not go on patchy and they are highly pigmented some aren't it's just like some are good some are bad it depends on the shades you get I think if you're going for the mauve shades you're good to go so yeah I would say just give them a go give the mauve shades like the nude shades like maybe try one out see how you like it I don't think it's that bad considering the price if it was uh, maybe like Colourpop's price then I would say skip on it but because it's so affordable I can recommend it because like it's 
you're not gonna get ripped off, you know what I mean? If it was any more expensive, I would say go get Colourpop, go get Sleek. If you want affordable liquid lipsticks, those brands are super good. So yeah, I would love to know if you guys have tried this $1 liquid lipstick out and what you guys think about it because I do like it, I don't love it, I like it, like the nude shades. But I would love to know what you guys think and if you guys have tried any of their other products. I got a few eyeshadow palettes from the same brand but I haven't tested them out yet. I would love to know your thoughts on this brand and their liquid lipsticks. And if you did find this video helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!